I found that I don't know if this relates to your situation, but saying nothing is better than saying something when you're upset or saying something when you when you're being snippy or saying something when you know you're about to talk down is better to just don't say nothing. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I'm loving the program. My wife sometimes takes issue with my tone. I know this is something I need to work on. My father would often take a nasty tone with me and my mother. And when I was a wounded child, I used to reassure myself that I was smarter than other people as a way to avoid my own demons. This is carried into my relationship where I unfortunately sometimes do talk down to my wife. There are also some times where she accuses me of this, but I think she's projecting and using the fact that I've acknowledged that uh, I have an issue and she's using it against me. Um, I have two questions. Do you have any advice on how to really stop this pattern within myself? Do you have any advice on what to do when my wife is accusing me of doing that, but when I take honest stock of myself, I really don't think I'm doing it. Uh, it's so funny because I had the same issue with my wife yesterday. Yesterday, uh, we packing up, right? We're packing. And, and, you know, Colleen's kind of under a little bit of stress, right? Because, you know, we got limited time and she wants to make sure everything goes well. And, you know, and I'm a little slow on the on the uptake. I'm not packing as fast as her, <laughs> right? And, as you can see, right? I still got all my stuff around. And so she was trying to get an answer out of me yesterday that I didn't have. In, in the uh, garage, I've got, you know, a bunch of fire extinguishers. I just like some stuff, right? And she was like, uh where what box are you going to put those in because i want to know where they're going to go in the new house right and i was like i don't know where they're going to go in a new house i haven't been in a new house yet in fact if i choose somewhere it's going to be in the new house it's probably going to change so i have no idea where it's going to go in the new house so i don't know what box you want to put it in i don't have an answer for you that was what i said to her right because i knew she was fishing right she and i knew she was she was looking for something to kind of like struggle with, right? Because, you know, she's a woman and she's at that time of month and she's just looking for something. And, uh, but I didn't take into consideration, I, I wasn't nice. Let me put it that way. I was just kind of blunt. I was like, I don't know where I'm going to put it. What do you want me to tell you? I don't know the answer. And she didn't like the way I said it. <laughs> I, I was like you. She said I was talking down to her, but I knew I wasn't really talking down to her. I was just like giving her a flipping answer because I was like, I don't know. And I don't care. I was like moving. I was walking out the house, walking out the house. And she stopped me and she was like, you know, it's not what you said. It's how you said it. It's not what you said that you don't know. I understand that you don't know where to put it, but you don't have to have an attitude about it. And immediately in my mind, I'm trying to defend myself. I'm like, wait a second. I didn't have an attitude about it. I just I'm not there with you. I don't care. And rather than get it, I, I just instantly knew what needed to happen i don't know how how i figured this out but it was the grace of god that when she came at me with that my first instinct was like i was going to argue back with her it's like i'm not having an attitude but you know what i did i said everything that i said but i sung it to her this time i'm doing a lot of singing so i go she says next time you could just say it nicely and so i go Sweetheart, I don't know where the boxes will go. I do know they'll make it and we'll be all right. But I can't tell you exactly tonight. I just, I was just messing with her. <laughs> I said, so I sang it back to her in a nice way. And my daughter was there too. So she got, to, she got to watch daddy be cool. And, uh, and you know, they, they laughed, right? <laughs> and I walked away. And then little, I was going to work out. That's what I was doing. And then I came back a little while later, and she apologized. And she apologized. She said, I know I'm just being needy. I'm sad. And she came and gave me a hug. She's like, I'm sorry. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, too, for speaking a little rough with you, right? And so it was a way to, I just share that with you because I've been in your shoes, and it was just kind of something that happened to me just yesterday. And it was a way to kind of like de-escalate the issue without fighting with her, right? And I think you might be able to do the same thing with your wife. Like, what do they say? Uh, amp uh, accept and amplify, right? 
what is one of these things in like pickup, right? In pickup, they they call it like you just amplify. When you amplify something, it makes it funny. So when your wife says, you know, oh, you're you're being mean, you know, the way you're talking down to me, then really talk up to her, right? Get down on you, like really play it up because it'll turn it into a joke. And you know, depending on her, I don't know your wife. You know, it might make light of the situation. It won't be so heavy. And it'll, all of a sudden, she'll realize, okay, I'm being silly, right? Get down on your knee and like, and just serenade her, sing to her, you know, or just be, without being uh, sarcastic, which it is sarcastic, but without being overtly like mean about it, just like, you know, be joking about it, just be light about it. Uh, she might just turn around and, and realize, okay, I know I'm shit testing you and, uh, and you're right, you know? Um, as far as your, your tendency to talk down to people, cause it seems like you're kind of conflicted. You're like, you know, on one hand, I know I kind of have this pattern, but on the other hand, a lot of times she's accusing me of it just to, just to shit test me when she's just shit testing you, you just amplify it, you know, turn it around and fly it. Like I did, you know, sing it back to her and, you know, make, make light of it. Don't get upset and just, you know, have fun with her. But as far as you, uh, the pattern of talking down to people. I just discovered, cause I'm this, I'm a lot the same way like you too, man. Like I just, I'm impatient a lot of times. And like, you know, people ask me too many questions or yeah, I just might get upset. I've found that, I don't know if this relates to your situation, but saying nothing is better than saying something when you're upset or saying something when you, when you're being snippy or saying something when you know you're about to talk down, it's better to just don't say nothing. And you could acknowledge somebody's question and just say, hmm, mm-hmm, all right, let me think about it. That's been one of my saving graces lately is, let me think about it, or let me get back to you on that, right? I don't know. A lot of times as men, like we want to have an answer right away or we want to have a solution right away. We want to say something right away. Right. Because that's what we want. Men want to come to the conclusion. Right. This is what even within the sex act. Right. A woman wants to she wants to engage with it. She wants to escalate. She wants to just romp and roll. And men, we want to get to the end. Right. As quickly as can as men. Right. <laughs> I mean, unevolved in an involved way, right? We just want to get to, get to the end. Just, just get it over it. Um, so, I mean, even like within the sex act, right? Because I'm, of course, I'm using sex as a metaphor, but in the sex act, you know, pulling out sometimes is a good idea, right? It's getting a little too hot and I'm, I'm trying to get to the end too quick. Pull out, take a little breather, right? Do a little something else then come back, right? And then maybe you could stroke a little bit longer. And it's the same thing with your conversation with your wife. If you find yourself, you're getting a little too hot and you're about to get to the end, right? You're about to, right? Then just, hmm, you don't owe anybody, you don't owe her an answer. I know a lot of times we feel like we owe someone an answer the minute they ask us a question or we owe them something. Um, he says, yeah, I do, I do that. I always feel like I need to respond immediately to people. Yeah, practice this. Practice not needing to respond immediately. Because a lot of times our our, our gut reaction isn't, <laughs> isn't going to be well received. And so sometimes it's better to just say, let me get back to you on that one. Or let me think about that. Or just say, I don't know yet. I'll, I'll tell you later. And a lot of times it's, it's, it's not even that we don't have the answer. It's... Uh, I just need time to process that. I just need to, I need a little bit of time to process that. I need a little time to engage with it because men are more single-minded and I might be doing something else and you're, at, you're distracting me. A lot of times that's what it is. Like my, yesterday with my wife, I was getting ready to go do my workout. I was psyching myself up and I was writing my plan and she was distracting me with this shit about the fire extinguishers. <laughs> so I very, I'm sure I was just like wanted to shut her up. Like right now, I'm not there with you right now. You're distracting me. It would have been better. I could have avoided the whole situation if I would have just listened to her and I said, hmm, all right, let me get back to you on that. If I would have simply done that, I wouldn't have had to get, start singing to her. <laughs> but the singing was fun. So try that. Try that as a, as a strategy for dealing with your woman. She doesn't deserve an answer right away. Or better yet, you're not obliged to answer right away. 
And so I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. And we talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.